is Mia from the Civil Tarot and in today's video I'm going to speak about the Bad Bitches Tarot. I have already unboxed this deck but I haven't used it so far so uh, I wanted to show it to you to speak about my first impressions of the deck and uh, well that's it so uh, this is the box in where it comes. Let's yeah, it's a lovely box with magnet. It's like this um, book style box. And well, it comes with a guidebook. And what I have seen about the guidebook, I haven't read it, but I intend to. And what I have seen about the guidebook is that, uh, well, it is a small booklet. It has uh, how many pages? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how many pages does it have, but uh, yeah, well, you can get an idea that it is a booklet. And uh, what I love about the booklet is that it gives some definitions uh, about the cards in different contexts. So, for instance, here you can say the magician, okay, and you say bare meaning. Boudoir, uh, business, what does it say in here? Bank, okay, bank, like financial aspect, unblocked. In case you're with reversed or um, you want to, yeah, look at the card from a negative or blocked position. So at uh, the booklet, uh, I want to read it in, in full, but I love that it doesn't just give a meaning for the cards and that's it, but it, it uh, looks at the cards from each aspect or um, yeah, it gives an interpretation of the card a bit for, for different contexts and this is something that I consider very important when teaching tarot and well, Ethony does it really, really good in this booklet. And now let's start with the fun. And well, the cards have this rose gold edging. Personally, I have a thing with rose gold because I think it looks like, I know, Copper and there's no point in using this. I mean, I'm just you know the metal, so it doesn't really matter. But I always thought that um, rose gold looks cheap. But anyway, the gilding is beautiful, and the backs of the cards are as well. I don't really know what it is. Oh yeah, it's like a bees or something. Yeah, like a B mandala or something like that. And well, let's start looking at the cards. So, I am going to try and find a way to focus this here. So, this is the Fool, the Magician, the High Priestess, the Empress, The Emperor, the Hierophant, the Lovers, the Sharia, Strength, the Hermit, the Will of Fortune. Justice, the handman, death, temperance, the devil, I love the devil, the tower, this star with this gorgeous dress, the moon. The Sun, Judgment, and the World. And well, so far, uh, as you can see, the deck is uh, just uh, done with women. There are only um, women portrayed in the, in the deck. It is something that I really like. And uh, even though the imagery is not very traditional, but I 
feel that the personalities of each um, woman that, that appear in here it is quite revealing about the meaning of the card. Uh, this is not the kind of deck that I would recommend to someone who is just beginning her tarot because of um, the complex symbology or symbology that ooh, <laughs> that is not as as usual but uh, I think that the cards are rich and that uh, you can uh, this is like a very intuitive deck and you can tap into e each of this uh, women personality and uh, then yeah see what happens so let's uh, keep on with the minors and this is the ace of pentacles two three so as you see, like illustration is very very minor. It's just this uh, women. Five. This five of pentacles. I really love it because it seems like this uh, crystal that appears in the RWS, like the the color glass. Six of pentacles. Seven of pentacles. Eight. Nine. I love this card it's like very powerful oh let's see if it's focused yeah ten of pentacles page knight queen and king all of them women again ace of wands two of wands three of wands four of wands Five of Wands, I like this card a lot. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, page, knight, queen, and king. So, as you can see with the minors, even though the illustration is like very minimal, but they have a uh, more is it easier not not more easier easier symbology so uh, they are like mm, easy to tap easier to tap into ace of cups two of cups three of cups four five of cups six of cups and the I have a thing with six of cups and it is like uh, basically there are many times where I feel creeped out by the six of cups but this one is very nice and very beautiful. Seven of cups, eight, nine, and ten. You see like the, the choice of of symbology is very simple but very on point and it helps you just identify the card very easily. Page of Cups, Knight, Queen and King. And now the last one, Swords, Ace of Swords, Two of Swords, Three of Swords and look at the, at the jumper. I want the jumper. So, like, Ethony, you have to tell me if these clothes are from your imagination or actual clothes because there are outfits that I really adore in this deck. So, five of swords, six of swords, or this is five of swords, then we were singing four of swords, I'm sorry for the mess, yeah, four, five, for, forget it, sorry, uh, six of swords, seven, Eight, nine, ten, and the page, the knight, the queen, and the king. And there is a card, an extra card in here that is blank and uh, with backing, uh, it's yellow as well. So perhaps I don't know if I will use this card to add an extra card of my own creation or something, but um, it's a good detail. So, in general, this deck has very strong points. Uh, I love, as I said, that there are just women in this deck. And again, I love the vibe that it <clears throat> brings, the fact that it is a very, very different deck, a very intuitive deck. And uh, yeah, I adore it. Definitely not a thing that I would recommend to beginners. 
but it is uh, an item that is worth adding to your collection if you really feel are into yes this powerful thing like yeah, it's a very goddessy deck and now I'm probably just mumbling but the thing is like it's a very goddessy deck it is a, a very powerful deck so to speak uh, and I really have like like the, the essence of this deck and the presentation, the artwork. So yeah, this is something that I have really enjoyed and the quality of the deck is uh, very good. The cards are a pretty good quality as well. The, the edging, it doesn't look like, it doesn't look a cheap deck at all. Well, it actually, <laughs> this is not a cheap deck, but I mean, it doesn't look cheap. It is very good quality. The box is very good quality with this magnet so it looks like a durable storage thing that can be permanent and the guidebook looks like it's worth uh, a read so uh, yes I will I am looking forward to working more with this deck and see where it takes me but so far I am loving it so yeah this has been it and thank you very much for watching as usual and uh, well as I always say, have a lovely rest of the day and uh, bye!